we are discussing dependency injection correct and in dependency injection we learn that anything we can pass anything to we can pass to our poso class anything we can pass to our poso class from xml file this poso can be your controller or service to your any class any mvc implementation class you can consider like a poso this class can have any dependency here any data as a dependency you can have here any data dependency you can have here this data you can supply this data you can supply via setter method via setter method or via constructor setter method or constructor setter method can pass only one parameter at a time the limitation with setter method is right the limitation is for setter method you will be using property tag you will be using property tag here and for constructor you will be using constructor hyphen or tag constructor hyphen or argument tag. You can use property tag for setter method and if you want to do the dependency injection you can use constructor. Setter or constructor. The limitation with the setter method is here the limitation. Limitations are only one variable we can pass at a time. At a time, how many you can pass by a setter method? Only one variable. That can be your string or only one variable means it can be your string or number or any data type. One array you can pass or one collection you can pass. Example. Okay. We, we learned that actually. From yesterday's session, we learned that only one variable we can pass to your class instance level variables. So, via setter methods, we assign that to our instance level variables. Only one value we can pass at a time to setter method. Okay, and calling setter method is not mandatory. So, my class is having a number of dependencies. Okay. And I have a number of setter methods here. Calling setter methods is not mandatory. Calling setter is not mandatory. Quite so. It's up to you. If you want to pass really your dependencies, you should call your setter method and you should pass. And calling setter method is not mandatory from the Spring context. Spring will not ask you to pass this parameter please call the setter method it, it never say that calling setter is not at all mind yeah for ioc for ioc bean will create it but it will not force you to see maybe you understand it in a different way ioc never force you to call setter method hmm? Calling, calling, calling the setter method, right? Property tag, if you are mentioning, that means you are calling. You are calling your setter method. IOC never force you to call. So you understand it in any, any way. I have four properties and I have four setter methods. Okay. So if you call two setter methods and if you 
leave two setter methods or if you call one setter method and if you leave the remaining three setter methods or if you don't call any setter method also it will create object this pozo object will be created first object it will create it and it's your responsibility to pass the parameters as a developer you should not forget i have four database properties here hmm. pozo will be created yes Correct. So your poser will be created, and if the parameters whichever you have in your class, if they are mandatory as a developer, it is your responsibility to call property tag compulsory to pass your values to the setter methods. If you don't call it, also IOC never force you to call them. Okay, you will just setting null values only. If you if you never call this property means, that means you are setting null values only here. But that is the not case with constructor. If one parameterized constructor, if you have here in your class only one parameterized constructor apart from default and all, you know right constructor value. If you have one constructor only in your class compulsory, you should call that constructor to create a object. Okay, I will say never force you to call setter. Your bean will create it. No syntax error. Calling setter is really not mandatory. Okay. See, I have writing the property here. That means calling setter only, right? If you're keeping property here, means you are calling setter. Your bean gets created with the null values. If you don't pass anything via setter method. Example, right? Here yesterday we have done which one? This one. Dependency injection of all types. So I have student here. It is having multiple properties, name, email, role number, subject, boots, and all. For each property, I have one setter method. For each property, I have one separate setter method. And via XML file. I'm calling each setter method and passing the value and it is not mandatory to call them. So it will not show any syntax errors and as usual your student object will be created. See name and email intentionally I stop to pass here. And when I run it, when I run it, See, from role number it started passing the value, role number, subject, remaining values getting passed, but name, email, I intentionally stopped. So the name, email value is null. So your bane gets created with the null values if you don't pass anything via setter method. Okay. If you ignore intentionally, Spring container will never force you. Man, you forget it to pass name, email, please call them to and pass the value. It never, it never suggests intentionally, in, not intentionally. Intentionally means if that properties are not really mandatory for you. Okay. If some property, some optional properties also you can have, right? A class can have some optional 
generally we will never have such because we will put all the mandatory parameters only if you have any optional you can ignore it you can ignore it if that is really not mandatory you can ignore it now see intentionally i stopped calling all the setter methods still is it stopping creating object from i was in no your object created with all null values name is null email null role number zero default values subject null fruit null city is null captain's null properties null address null everything is null 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 when i intentionally stop passing parameters so the conclusion is here calling setter method is not or passing values via setter method is not mandatory job to i was or it will not force you to pass the values it will not even tell you pass that values it's your responsibility to call the properties and pass them and one more thing while passing this values order of setting properties is not mandatory specific order is not mandatory you can pass them in any order following order is not at all mandatory here that means in my class the first setter method is set name the next setter method is set email the next one is set role number i can jumble this order here name email values i may set at the end of the properties you can jumble in any order first you set properties next you set address next email next one jumble the order in any order you can pass them whichever you want it to pass though you pass it in any order also it will call them say name email role number gets injected at the end still it is fine you can call it in any order no issues you can call setters in any order no issues still your values are properly set no issues with the order also okay so when it comes to setter methods at a time one value only we can pass and it is not mandatory to call setter methods or it is not mandatory to use property tag to create your bean class object or your poso class object means setting or calling setter methods via property tag is really not mandatory it's your responsibility to call them and to pass the values if they are very important for you you should pass almost every class will have important variables only unnecessarily we never put even single line of code even if we do that during our code reviews people will ask you to delete it so there won't be any unnecessary variable always we declare variable which are really mandatory but if you are using a setter method as a developer you should take responsibility of passing all the parameters you can jumble the order order is not mandatory during pass but you should pass the values carefully okay you should pass values carefully so that is what i want to conclude for the setter methods now coming to constructor coming to constructor you see the difference if you want to if you want to have a constructor in a class how many constructors you will be having in general and what is the need of constructor the need of constructor is to create object to create object a class must need a constructor your class compulsory should have a constructor this is the first thing that we learn in core java a class must it should have a 
constructor and this constructor can be it can be default constructor or parameterized parameterized constructor default or parameterized one constructor is mandatory to your class to create object to create object a class must needs a constructor if you don't write any parameterized constructor by default compiler will provide that means without constructor your class will not work so one constructor will be provided to your class either it's a default or parameter as default compiler will provide if you intentionally write a parameterized constructor in your class default constructor will be avoided by compiler compiler will not provide any default constructor if you write a parameterized constructor so via parameterized constructor what we will achieve parameterized constructor parameterized constructor will pass or through parameterized constructor you can pass all required all required values during object creation you can pass values during object creation only this also you know during object creation only we should pass them as a, as a simple example let's say if i have a class here address if this address class doesn't have the setter methods getter method purpose is to read values consider i don't have anything here now to this class if i want to pass street house number pin by a parameterized constructor i need to create a constructor here generate constructor using fields so one constructor is generated so this constructor is having how many parameters one street first argument is street second argument house number and the third argument is pin so oh. now if you want to create this address object let me comment it would you able to create address object like this address a equal to new address is it a right syntax for your address class can we create object like this now guys are you following now my address class is having one parameterized constructor tell me is there any default constructor in this class no default constructor will compiler provide any default constructor for address class no yeah you you have already parameterized constructor so compiler also will not going to provide any default constructor so what is this statement means address class name reference is equal to new address class default constructor i'm trying to calling address class default constructor but there is no default constructor so this syntax is correct or not syntax is correct but you don't have this default constructor hmm. will provide yes you write or compiler will provide generally we never write so compiler will provide okay yeah so now there is no default constructor what is this error it is showing the constructor address is undefined it is saying there is no constructor there is no constructor and in suggestions it is saying add arguments to match address with the, it is showing string 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 three strings address is there you use that so if i click on it then it is showing arguments 
pass string 1, string 2, string 3 with the null by supplying null values also you can create it but you must pass at least null here that is not the case with setter right if you don't pass default null values will be already assigned but here while calling this address constructor it is forcing me to pass at least null values or else you need to pass your parameters here what are they street house number pin compulsory you should pass street to house number pin system dot out dot until any now it will create objects see compiler doesn't is not showing any error your address object is created and the data given is supplied so calling constructor is very much mandatory if you have parameterized constructor even you can't even ignore one variable if i say to constructor at least i give it to please create object it will say no never pass all the values or else remove the code so as it will not create without giving any you know without giving all the values all the values are mandatory for constructor so when you use parameterized constructor all required values during object i mean you can pass all the values during object creation so even if you go with constructor based dependency injection also that is the thing that you should do while using this constructor argument tag you need to pass all the arguments which our constructor is having for the same address example if i consider my student class is having all the setter methods and my address ha is having only parameterized constructor how do i pass these values here if i don't use property tag now instead of property my address class is having one parameterized constructor and it is mandatory to pass three values street house number and pin so here i need to pass them via constructor argument tag so how many constructor argument tags i need to use here for each argument one tag my address class is having how many arguments here one two three so for three arguments how many constructor argument tags i need to use here one two three compulsory you need to set three parameters will it give any excuse or discount i will pass two please ignore one no it will say with the two arguments i don't have any constructors for in say with the two arguments i don't see any constructor in address class but i see address class with three arguments will you pass three arguments so that i'll create object yes so you need to pass compulsory three arguments otherwise it can't give you discount to allow you with only one argument or two arguments wherever you want to inject it so this you see right i used here in student class i have an address variable dependency there i inject it. this is the address variable dependency i have for this i have one setter method I called that set address method and this reference id reference I given here ref is equal to a steady in case if you want to inject the student somewhere else you can use this id to inject ok then? No, 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 no. See, this is your your address class reference. Why you are worrying about? My address class is having a parameterized constructor with the three values: street, house number, pin. So these three values only you should pass here: address, house number, pin. Which order they have? 
first street then house number then pin so you need to pass in the same order street to house number pin you can you can not over it i mean let's say just forget that i mean sorry not out of wire you can inject it let's say if i don't have address dependency here if address only having the student dependency you can do that it's okay in address class i'll create one more object okay to you to understand my address class is having one more dependency here state object reference i have state state is a secondary type let's create it state name So in this class, I'll put two setter methods. And two getter methods. This two string method to see the values. Okay. So I have one state object. So if I put that state object as a dependency here. You have one parameterized constructor only. You should pass state also here. This dot state is equal to state. Ah, correct. Correct. In in Angular, only constructor dependency injection we use. Yes, that is what I was saying, right? Same concepts only. Same, right? This is how we will put it. Automatically, it will inject auto wiring. That concept is advanced concept in Spring also. Next concept. Same thing. Both are same. So if you understand that constructor dependency injection in Angular, the same thing is going to happen here also. But not, not, not now in advanced concept. Yeah, here I am injecting it into address class, right? In address class, I am injecting this variable. Okay, now passing three para four parameters is mandatory now. My address class is having four dependencies: street, house number, pin, and the state. All these four parameters you should pass. So how many arguments? Four arguments you need to take. So as a first argument, see in setter methods, there is an opportunity to you to tell your setter method name, set address, set name, set email, set roll number. This opportunity you have, but you don't have that name argument here. You can't say what is your argument name, argument name street, argument name house number. You can't do that. So directly you should pass values just by following order. The first argument belongs to street, so you should put street on Shivalayam street. The second argument is house number, so you should directly remember and pass the value house number. And the next argument is pin, so you need to enter pin only. And the last argument is state which is secondary type reference i should pass here reference of state as of now i don't have any state object so i can't pass anything here so create a state object here a bean for state class 
base dot state class and my state class is having two arguments state name and country and setter methods I have. So you can pass Now you pass this state reference here, state ID reference here. <coughs> so now <coughs> this state also will be injected. So intentionally you should not change order here. If you change the order also, it will worry about it. It will try to pass this state into street. No, default constructor means no argument constructor. As that is having no arguments, what is the meaning passing arguments? Default constructor will have no arguments, so you can't pass anything to it. No argument constructor will not take anything as an input. It will not accept. Okay. No. Default means nothing no value no input so it will not take any input only parameter constructors will take input no 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 if you write tag means there is an argument even single tag if you put here means single argument constructor that will become okay so you need to pass in this order then you see how it works. Invalid property country. Country name. What did I use here? Right. Okay. Country name. So now everything got injected. If I see student address object here, address is having street, house number, pin, and state also. State is a object given state information also your address object now as i was saying it is mandatory to pass all the values it never give discount i pass only two values with the two values if i try to run it unsatisfied dependency why so unsatisfied dependency expressed through the constructor arguments with the index to string ambiguous constructor arguments types did you specify the correct bean reference as a constructor argument see many doubts it is getting and giving you error saying that do you have two argument constructor by the way no you will realize no i don't have i have all argument constructed then pass everything then it will inject now will it allow you to change the order if you change the order it will not allow you allow you in the sense it will try to pass state object into is it Am I seeing real? Mm, see? Okay. 
so secondary object when i specified it understand there is only one secondary object and injected the remaining three strings in a specified order given so state is a secondary type this constructor is having having how many state objects one state or multiple state objects having one state argument only here right so while passing this state argument i mean i am trying to confusing it actually to the constructor i am trying to confusing it as a last argument it should be there now i shifted it as a first argument still it is not getting confused because there is only one state dependency you have so straight away this state object it is automatically able to pass it here though you miss the order also automatically it is able to pass here as a first argument i given but first argument is a string type automatically it move to state but not the case with this remaining arguments if i jumble this arguments order in place of street as a state given it's okay it will automatically adjust it but now coming to street in place of street house number is going in in place of house number pin code is going in case of pin the street name is going here so uh, when i intentionally miss the order it will just consider them as your values and pass it so street triple to hmm. there is no order na if it is one one means one only that is the first and that is the last yeah hmm. don't follow order in the sense only for that reference you need not to follow the order for the secondary type the remaining parameters order is mandatory right the remaining primitive order secondary order it get executed because secondary type it understand okay this is state object type so i should pass it into state only it got that intelligence fine but while passing this values here it don't know whether you are trying to specifying this as a street number or house number how it knows maybe it will consider triple 2 is your street it will think it's okay pass it and again it will consider this like a house number maybe it will think oh, it's okay and it will consider this like a pin intentionally when you want to change this order right you need to specify the index in which index you wanted to pass it this is the zeroth index value and house number is the second index value and pin code is the third index value so at least if you if you specify this indexes then it will not get confused okay so first it will pass this sivalem street only into street and then it will pass this house number only into the house number then as a last argument it will pass pin so with this with index you can you can change the order there no issues now see Yeah, any difference, right? Where you are saying STD? Ah, no. Uh, see, I am not calling my student class with a reference. I am calling my student class with class name only. So I am asking to IOC container, give me object of student class. It will give object. It's it's up to you in which variable you want to put it. Reference name will. nothing i can put prakash also here it's it's my reference name it's it's up to me what name i will put here any name i can put here it 
will work. Just a reference now, you can use any name. Oh, any, any name, any name. This is not your reference name. Okay, I got object here. Once you got the object, it's up to you. Play with it. Put any name. Okay. Yeah. So this is how. Yeah, if, if you want to do anywhere dependency injection, still you have use with this STD. In case if you don't want to use this class, there are two ways I said, right? So with this STD also you can call it how instead of class here you can give B in ID also. In that scenario, you need to type cast it. It will give in the form of object you need to type cast it. Okay. Still in that case, right? Still in that case, this reference name and this reference name need not the same. You can put my object or put the same name. No worries. It's your reference name. It's up to you. Whatever name you wanted to put it. So in this way also you can get your student object with the ID. This ID is mandatory. You should not use your required name. You should use the name whichever you used in XML file. Or if you don't want to bother with IDs, use the direct class name. So it will give you option. Which which extra properties? If you want material, is that your question or? Okay. Ah, cha cha. No, no. Got you. So I was uh, telling you, right? If you visit this DTD document, okay. So open this DTD document, DTD file, doc type definition file, okay. Let's open it. Yeah. In XML, DTD is a simple type, whereas XSD is a complex type. In XSD, you can put a lot of validations and all, whereas in DTD, we have very limited uh, stuff. So here you go and see. So the tag which we are using is constructor argument. So what all extra attributes we have, you can see here. Constructor. Yeah. So this is the constructor argument. I mean constructor tag for which 
beans we have or bean yeah in bean these are the uh, elements we have constructor argument and for this constructor argument what are all attributes list we have you can see here sorry not this one yeah here you go constructor argument is having bean ref id ref value null list set map props what value we use where is the index ah huh. okay attribute list in attribute list it is showing elements means shell tags attributes means along with argument whatever tags we have you know right yeah these are the elements elements in the sense under constructor argument tag again you have child tags with the constructor argument tag this is the attribute index attribute we have type attribute we have yeah you go through this document value we have yeah so so what we learn from this session is how to inject values via constructor also and while having constructor it is mandatory to pass all the values and when you want to jumble the order when you want to play with the order then you should use this index thing to change it okay and see other example also in our blog we have i don't want to stretch too much into it tomorrow we will see auto wiring or i'll i'll start with the stereotypes okay stereotypes then we will come back to auto wiring important concepts okay auto wiring stereotypes those are this dtd see this it is there in spring beans 2.0 dtd correct, correct spring beans jar only spring beans jar under referenced libraries spring framework kop Spring core, not in core. Spring beans only. Okay. Go to Spring beans. Under Spring beans, factory dot xml. You can see this. Dtd files, xsv files. beans jar yeah 